Hi everyone and thank you for watching this video. So today we are going to explain about the uh, intro ID user provisioning feature. It is a new feature that uh, Microsoft introduced in intro ID. So in this video we are going to check the and check and demonstrate the user provisioning to Active Directory and Prim through the API and then sync it to intro id um, actually we can directly uh, provision user into intro id as well but uh, as a majority of the hr system or companies they have active directory on prem so we decided to show how to provision user on prem this will be a, a basic video of preparation and provisioning the user uh, we will record more videos about this we will explain how to add user to different groups, user governance, and access to the resources on-prem, as well as high availability and other features like how to extend the Active Directory schema, sync it to intro ID, and use the custom attributes for the user. I said this one just, just covered basic features, and after that, we will record more video about more details. Thank you. So, in here, as you can see, our HR system is going to manage our users. So to do this, we need to export our information to a CSV file, except we have uh, the, some uh, HR system that uh, they have connector to intra ID. Uh, this list will be expanded by Microsoft very soon, but for now, it's very few, and it is just for now, it is two service provider. I will show uh, two service provider later. So for most of the scenarios, what we need to do, we need to export information to a CSV file, and then push that CSV file to our intro ID API, and then it will provision user into the Active Directory and Prim and AD Connect sync the user to intro ID. And after that, we will provide access to the user, add them to the proper group or through the dynamic groups, access management packages, we will manage their users and complete this cycle. So I'm going to show this and uh, let's start. What is this one? All right, to do this, we need to log into Intra ID Admin Center. We need to go to the application, Enterprise application, and create a new application. And here I want to mention Intra ID can provision users in many applications, this other box. You can do your custom provisioning as well, but for some of the applications, SaaS application, it's a built-in feature. As you can see, the application with this icon, you can provision users. For example, Adobe, Adobe uh, Identity Management, you can do this in the box, you can do this as well. So, so in here, we will set for API. This is for API driven provisioning to intro ID directly or this one for provisioning user to on-prem AD. Let's select this one and put the proper name for it. Test. Okay. Good. The application have been created. So one of the important things that we need to copy it and we will use it later, it's object ID. We need to copy it, but uh, for now let's go to provisioning and go to provision. So our process will be automated. Let's select this one. Get us started just link to some Microsoft guides about this. Uh, in here, we have a list of our domains in here. These are domains that 
are connected via AD connect to our intro ID. So for example, this is dot local, this is our local on prem ID. So this is our domain, it's connected by intro ID. So let's go to our domain on prem, find it. It is item three net dot local. So I'm going to select that one. And in here, we need to select a distinguished name of the OU that we want to provision users in it. I will show you in the, another video how we can customize this for more other uh, for more OU, not, not, not provision in one single OU. So just here, find the distinguished name. I want to provision users in here. <coughs> We need to download the agent and install it on 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 Prim server. This server must be domain join, and it can connect to intra ID. You can find the list of the ports that should be open to intra ID from Microsoft documentation. Uh, I will put the link in the description. So I'm going to download this one. So now we're going to install the agent. So Workday and Success Factor they are the only HR system that they can provision user, they have connector to intra ID. Microsoft will expand this very soon and for now we are going to use a CSV file. So, <clears throat> we need to authenticate. Right, let's uh, try the password, using our password. So in here we need to create a, something like a service account for provision user on prem. So this is a new installation. I'm going to select this one, create group manage service account, and uh, type the admin credential in here. So we need to type our domain admin credential. So it will create a user for <clears throat> So in here, we need to select our domain. We can add more domain in here, but we need to install the, we need to install a separate agent for different domain. So we need at least one agent per domain. So this is a domain that uh, we're going to provision our user in here. No need to change the credential. Next. Uh, confirm. So uh, it's this is our username or our service account. It will be created in here or already created. Let's see. <coughs> I forget it's created. It's in here. Go to object and it's created few seconds ago. So I will pause the video and I will back in a minute or two. So installation is going to finish. <coughs> So this one. So let's try connection. Okay, connection is successful. Awesome. In this setting, you can uh, put your email address, and if you want to accidentally prevent accidental delete deletion, maybe you put a number in here. The default is five hundred eight. It is. AD connect it has 500 users so uh, let's do change this one for now and save
uh, to overview sub provisioning. So it looks good for me. So for now, let's close this one and back to the server. This is server that we are will install the agent on it, and we are going to run the PowerShell command review the CSV file in here. This is just a basic settings and basic process. In the later videos, we will explain everything in more details. So let's uh, open the PowerShell. So we need to run this one. Yes. Let's remove any rescue. It's okay. It's access deny. <coughs> it's access uh, around the ISE in admin mode. Uh, I will run it successfully. So, right. Then we need to install these two modules. I will put all of the commands in the description below. Uh, again, <coughs> we need to run it the admin mode. So they have been installed. So let's run all of the commands in the admin mode. I'm going to copy from here. Yeah. Um, all right. This is a file uh, that we need to download it from GitHub. I'm going to share this URL as well in the description of the video. Uh, I'm, let me browse this URL. This is a URL that you can find it in Microsoft uh, documents as well. So what we need to do, we need to download the PowerShell one, the, this PowerShell folder. Uh, inside this PowerShell folder, uh, we have samples. We have the, um, the command that we need to run as well in here. This is the, the, uh, the PowerShell command that we need to run it. So I've already downloaded and copied on this computer. So after downloading and expanding, uh, extracting the files in a folder, I copy it in this folder. What we need to do uh, to run some PowerShell command to provision our users. So the first one, just mapping ARM attributes. So this is a basic file. This is just a basic information. And we need to check it and validate. So <clears throat> I copy this one and run it. Let's check what is inside this file. What this uh, attribute? So as you can see, there are some attributes in here. There are schemes for the the users that we need to push it to Active Directory and Intra ID. Let me show this one in here. So as you can see. This is that file. Later, we will add more attributes in here, but this is currently the basic one. And these attributes, and these are, needs to be found in the CSV file that we receive from our HR. This is a file that uh, we need to receive it from HR in this format than this, or, uh, or maybe there are more than this <coughs> attribute. So, it's really depend on your HR system or the way that you want to import the users. So worker ID, status, worker type, and all of these things in are in, in here. <clears throat> so let's follow the the default one. And in here, I want to show you in here. Sorry, wrong window. This needs to be matched with this one. Mapping the scheme in here. We will customize this later. As you can see, this is your intro ID. These are the attributes that you have. Uh, this is on pre ID, and this is the API attribute. For example, user principal name. This is how. 
uh, we have it in the intro ID and it used default domain and default domain usually it is your domain dot on Microsoft.com. So we will back to here and how to customize this all of it. Same as mail. But uh, and then we need to add more attributes in here. So let's go back to uh, PowerShell. Then the second step, we need to validate mapping. So we need to make sure this CSV file that we have is matched to the attributes that we need to push it to on pre ID and intro ID. In here, run it again. Which back with true means that they are matched. So all of these attributes in here are valid in this CSV file that we received from our HR. And now we need to run a command to push all of this information from here to intro ID and then AD connect. So to do this, we need two attributes. One, it is our tenant ID, which is in here, it is my tenant name. And then we need the service principal, this is object ID. So this, let's find this. Let's find the object ID from here. Optimize it. Object ID in here. So let's run this command. So it's run it. We haven't received any error message. There is no users in here now. And as you can see, these two users have been created. Let's check the CSV file from H1. Oh, for some reason, this is our CSV file. As as you can see, this is one of our users. Second user on the third one. So users have been created. It will take 30 minutes, it depends on your AD Connect to get these users synced to intro ID. But as you can see, the email address and then the default UPN, user principal name, are not correct. We want our uh, UPN, it's like this. And for example, for our email address, it's something like idam3net.com, not on Microsoft.com. So it's something that I will show you later how to do it. So let's back to intro ID. Usually it takes five to 10 minutes to see the logs. So we can see you added logs for these users. It's a for it's a all of the information details are in here. Let's open this one. Okay, it's nothing in here, and then uh, so management. So in here, it shows information for this user. For this user, it's a new value because it's a new user, so there is no old value in here. So all of the information for the user it is in here. Uh, provision log it takes longer. Okay, it's coming. So it shows successfully create this user and all of the information are in here. May um, other information. And as you mentioned, all of these attributes manage in here. I think in here how to create mail address and all of these things in here like user principal name and email. So uh, this is for this is all the information for this session. It's just for creating a user. Later we will talk about adding to the group, updating the user attributes, and more information.
Thank you for watching this.